Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and House Speaker Johnson. Well, he just dropped an impeachment bombshell on President Joe Biden, and he's not going to like it. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Speaker Johnson was talking this week to reporters where he said that it's now becoming likely that, you know, there would be an impeachment inquiry vote in the House. And the reason for this is that the Biden administration is stonewalling them. They're stopping them from obtaining the information they need. And they're saying, well, this impeachment inquiry doesn't have constitutional legitimacy. Even though Nancy Pelosi, when she impeached Trump, the former speaker, Nancy Pelosi, she didn't have a vote. She just had an inquiry. And that was suddenly constitutionally okay. And this now is not. It's the same thing but they want more constitutional legitimacy. Well, Speaker Johnson's willing to take it to a vote. And I want to take a look at what he said when he first became Speaker when he talked to Sean Hannity about evidence. Let's take a look. China, yeah. Russia, uh, Ukraine, uh, Romania, Mexico, other countries, tens of millions. They've discovered all of these um, shell corporations. They've discovered nine particular Biden family members have been paid. And then you have the issue of Joe on tape admitting that he used our money, taxpayer money, to leverage a billion dollars in loan guarantees, which was Obama administration policy to fire a prosecutor investigating his son. Well, one of the benefits of that, his son continued to get paid for a job he admits he had no experience in at a time where he was dealing with a drug problem. That sound, that's does that a, sound like to you? That's a pretty good recitation of the facts. And as John Adams said, facts are stubborn things. They're hard to ignore. Uh, I, I believe uh, the documents are proving all that. As, as my good brother Jamie Comer often says, the bank records don't lie. So we have the receipts on so much of this now. It's a real problem. That's the reason that we shifted into the impeachment inquiry stage on the president himself. Because if, if in fact, all the evidence leads to where we believe it will, that's very likely impeachable offenses. You know, that's listed as a cause for impeachment in the Constitution. You know, bribery and, and uh, other high crimes and misdemeanors, bribery is listed there, and, and uh, it looks and smells a lot like that. And I think the evidence, we're going to follow the truth where it leads. We're going to engage in due process because, again, we're the rule of law party. I know people are getting anxious and they're, they're getting restless and they just want somebody to be impeached. But that's not, we don't do that like the other team. We have, to, we have to base it upon the evidence, and the evidence is coming together. We'll see where it leads. Let me go back to the budget, if I may, for a sure. second. Um, this whole issue of regular order. Mm -hmm. We have four of the 12 appropriations bills that have already been dealt with. My understanding is that's about 70 percent of the budget. Yep. So you have eight more to go. Um, you've talked about a short term CR. And now, nothing's changed from that interview. In fact, he said the evidence is starting to mount against President Biden and that it's starting to become irrefutable. And so the impeachment inquiry vote that might have failed a month or two ago looks like it could pass this time around. That would be huge for the Republicans and devastating for President Joe Biden. And I think at least have the inquiry. And if you find the evidence to impeach, then you impeach. And if you don't, then you don't. But the American people have a right to know. They have a right to know. Was there, was their president, you know, taking money, taking bribes? We have no evidence of that. And, and we want to see. If he wasn't, then great. That's fantastic. But if he was, well, that's a different story. I want to know what you guys think about this. Please let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.